But first, Rod Luck is live in Serena Mesa. Good morning. Hey, good morning again, everybody. Now, you got problems, phobias, you're afraid to drive, you're afraid to fly, afraid of heights, afraid of, afraid of anchor men's faces in there. <laughs> There's a place to get rid of your phobias. That's right. Like here at the Virtual Reality Medical Center on Cemento Mesa. Coming back in a while to show you how we can solve your problem on the KOSI Morning News. Green light. Here we go. A young lady here with a, uh, with a virtual reality glasses on. It's a classroom. So we turn around and show them that one time with those glasses. There you go. It's all virtual reality stuff. And folks, it's here on the Sorrento Mesa at a place called the Virtual Reality Medical Center. If you've got a phobia, problem, heights, driving, flying, I want you to meet a guy here, an interesting gentleman. Mark, I, I never thought there were places like this. I thought maybe it was a one-on-one -on -one deal, usually with a psychiatrist or something. Well, we have a variety of healthcare professionals at Virtual Reality Medical Center, and we have three locations, by the way, yeah. San Diego, Palo Alto, and also Santa Monica. Did this get started in San Diego? It started in San Diego. Really? Right. Now, I notice a lady inside here, we'll come back to this stuff later, but she's in here working on a, on a fear on a fear of heights, isn't she? Uh, yes. In the, in the corner over there. She's yeah. in a virtual elevator, and she's also in an outside elevator. This is a representation of a elevator in Seoul, Korea, and she's also wearing the glasses. Yeah, the thing is, you put them in these glasses, the virtual reality, let me take you down the hall here, because what I saw was a gentleman here that probably one day will be an anchor man, right down in here. He's working on, on his public speaking, correct? Right, right. We also treat fear of public speaking. They have the helmet on. What, what's, what are they doing? They're looking out at the virtual audience, which you can see on the screen over here, and in this case, they can practice their speech. The nice thing about Thank this program is we can actually put their their exact speech that they're going to give for their talk loaded on the computer, and they can give their actual speech in front of the virtual audience. Let's listen. Let's listen for a moment. The stress inoculation training emerged out of an attempt to integrate the research and effective factors. And Brenda is your wife. She's here. And you are working with this particular patient, aren't you? Yes, yes. We're working on his fear of public speaking. How do you try to get him over that? I teach him coping skills first. So I teach him how to do his breathing, which I'm monitoring on the other screen. I also teach him thought-stopping techniques and rational responses. And then I put him in the exposure so he can slowly get over the fear. Wow. So he's seeing, he's tele got his teleprompter there. Exactly. He, in his helmet, he's seeing this audience out there. Exactly. It's making it easier for him one day to stand in front of a crowd. Exactly. And I can make the audience be very polite, or I can make them start being a little bit rude. On this monitor here now is his blood pressure and things? And his yes. Pulse? His How's heart he rate, his breathing. He's actually doing quite well. Let's see what happens now if I get him on and we're going to talk to him. From what's his name? Ron. Ron. Ron, can I interrupt you once? Sure. Am I helping you? Go ahead and take off your goggles, if you want. Is this helping you? This has uh, been extremely helpful to me. This has taken me from a position where I was very fearful of public speaking to the point now where I, I'm very, very comfortable and become, in my opinion, and pretty good public speaker. Hey, how is his pulse right now as he's talking with me here, doctor, over there? We he's make... doing great still. He's, he's doing still doing great. good. Let me give them some information how to get a hold of you guys. www.vrphobia.com or 858-642-0262. And they can help just about anybody, right? I mean, yeah. flying, driving? Flying, driving, panic disorder, agoraphobia, social phobia, just what? about any phobia you How have. How about anchorman phobia? Uh, I don't think we can get you over that one. See an anchor guy show up, they're still going to get nervous. <laughs> but it's helped you. What kind of work are you in? Immensely. Immensely. It helps in my work what and do do? helps in my personal life. Because, you know, you're facing a fear and you're overcoming a personal fear. So the, yeah. the growth that can occur from that. It takes place in a number of different dimensions of your life. What do you do for a living? I'm a psychologist. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So you'll be able to handle your patients better. Until then, everybody that came to see you was lost because you didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Go back to work. We're going to come back in a while. They have an airplane set up in here. Also, the driving we saw a little bit of it. More phobia stuff. Here at the virtual reality, I just didn't think this stuff existed, but it's here. After all, it's the year 2004, so we got to expect to see this kind of stuff. Some amazing technology, really. It is, and it's wonderful. Good idea, folks. If you're afraid of anything, when you come back, 
I'll try to help you out so we can all live together. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks, Rod. That, that guy's doing very well because he took his goggles off and looked at Rod Luck and he wasn't fearful. I so, mean, that already know, he gets an A+. Plus. Doing well. I don't know which is scarier, virtual reality or the reality of. But first, let's check in with adorable Rod Luck. Hey, we're still at the virtual reality. Uh, the, up to the center of the medical center. Folks, fear of flying, driving, whatever. How about uh, getting into a cockpit safely on the ground or in a cabin and finding out what it's like, and then maybe you won't be afraid to fly and things like that. Coming up on our KOSI Morning News. Keep it right here. We're going to make it so everybody wants to fly and drive and ride. Reality Medical Center, learning the, to get over that fear of driving, getting on the road, on the highway, wherever, on a back road, getting in a car, and they're, they're here we see where their pulse and their heart rate is being monitored as they as they work out here, if you will, on these simulators. This, of course, a driving simulator, because it was interesting to find out today that everybody that. Uh, that's out there driving isn't always really happy they're behind a wheel. You can tell by the way some people drive. Just they get here and they'll get on these simulators and work their thing and do their deal off and on. Not, I don't know if it's every day. We'll ask Mark Wiederhold that. He's the expert. How often do, do, would somebody come in to work on this? They come in usually once a week for about eight to ten weeks. Although we do treat patients, uh, if they need to have a shorter time element, some people come from out of town, we can treat them every day for about two weeks. You say it's not necessarily all those that might have a fear of driving, but those that have been in accidents, too. Right. We also treat what's called PTSD, or post-traumatic stress disorder, which occurs after people have had a motor vehicle accident. They can actually come here, and they can be trained with the physiological monitoring to overcome that. Does their insurance take care of this? Yes, this ins most insurances cover this. Wow, you've been around for how long? We've been doing this for approximately eight years. Started in Palo Alto? Uh, actually started here in San Diego. Right, but you're in Palo Alto as well? We have a clinic in Palo Alto and also in Santa Monica. I want to show you something. Fear of flying is a big thing, isn't it? It's, a, it's, a, it's one of the more common fears. Yeah. Now, we come in here with the simulator right now. The plane is taxiing down the runway. And uh, interesting, uh, Brenda Wiederhold handles this over here. We, Doctor, how are you? Good, good, thank you. This is what they're, they're wearing their helmets. They're actually seeing what's going on on that on that taxi. Right, right. They're seated in the passenger cabin. They're seeing out the window, seeing the plane taxi. They were going to do a takeoff and do some turbulence. What do you find? I guess probably when they close that door in the cabin, everybody just... The ones that are afraid, that's when their fear really kicks in? Exactly. They feel like they're trapped. So if it's a five-hour flight, all of a sudden they're trapped for five hours. Now, what they're seeing in these helmets, my friends, of course, and they're being registered over here on the heart rate and all that kind of stuff, they're seeing what is exactly on our virtual reality screen over here. Can you do me a favor? Can you have the plane take sure. off now? be about a, about a 15 second pause. And while we're waiting for that, let me just ask you again. Sure. The kind of people that have this phobia do, do you cure them all we don't cure them all no it's not hundred percent effective we have a 92 percent success rate well okay we're about set for takeoff now we're gonna get a chance to see as it, it, it's good actually I understand these seats and everything you're sitting in actually vibrate. will vibrate a little bit and we'll hear the noise of the of the of the of the takeoff of the plane exactly so so they're seeing it they're hearing it they're feeling it so they really feel like they're on the plane Wow well, let me show them this if I can, the helmet they're looking in right now. And this is it. They'll get on the screen inside here. They, exactly. So there's clinic. little Listen TV now. monitors. This is the monitor here. They'll see that. They're hearing what we're hearing here. Maybe they can hear that. Now the plane is starting to take off. Right, we're right. Vibration the, stage. Vibration stage. Then the, the wheels are going to lift up. You hear those different noises. Yeah, let's hear the noises. So they start to hear this and things and... Let's just now the plane's going to lift off shortly. They're going to get that full sensation right here. They're, they're getting that full sensation, and you see his heart rate's doing pretty well right now. He's not having a huge increase in his heart rate, so he's able to to handle the fear right now. Wow, plane is now just about there. It goes. It's lift off time. Yeah, it's you're going to see the ground getting smaller and smaller, just like you do in real life. So it's very realistic. What does it cost for something like this? For the setup? Yeah. Now for uh, everything, to, to come through and then get rid of your oh, phobia. It, it's $120 a session, and most insurances do cover it now. And it takes about 8 to 10 sessions? 8 to, to 10 sessions, one session a week. Let me give you a website, www.vr, it's for virtual reality phobia, 
www.thepeopleshow.com or you can call 858-642-0267. Wow. It's there. They've got it all. Besides uh, the airplane stuff, automobile. Uh, fear, of fear of driving, panic disorder, agoraphobia, social phobia, public speaking, heights, claustrophobia. Just about everything on the, on Just the board. Just about huh? everything. Spiders, even. Well, I wonder if I can ask. How are you doing up there? Good. Yeah? Pretty, yeah. Good, pretty good flight so far? You don't, have to, you don't have to take that off. You're enjoying your flight? Yes, very much. Okay, let me let you go back to it. Wow. There's no excuse now. You can be, you can, you can do it all. Come to the Virtual Reality Medical Center to get rid of your phobia. Ninety-two percent success rate. That's wow. incredible. You know, I'm thinking of the beginning of the movie with Meg Ryan, French Kiss, where she's actually in that plane simulator. That's all yeah. I can think about. But what a great idea! And you know, another thing, they, the thing that they haven't found, they don't have one yet for intimacy. <laughs> and, you know, if you're cold fish. Let Rod. You'll be swimming in the know, pond by yourself. Leave it to yeah. Rod. Think that of intimacy. Actually, no. Really, there's a Sandra Bullock, Sylvester Stallone <laughs> movie about that, too. Yeah, and we'll Keep see, it coming. Well, Sylvester's done at the box office. <laughs> Thanks, Rod. <laughs>